Although 90 Day Fiancé, Happily Ever After, star Angela Deem's private investigator claimed that Michael Ilesami was not a cheater. I've watched him on the show for long enough to know that the Nigerian man was never faithful to her. Michael and Angela's relationship's ups and downs were mostly due to two main reasons, Angela's anger and Michael's wandering eye. Every time Angela caught Michael lying, she flew off the handle. It gave Michael leverage to come across as looking innocent, while Angela, who was unable to deal with the situation calmly, was labeled an abuser. Michael's been living separately from Angela since February 2024. Since then, he has been exposed several times for having online affairs with women. One set of leaked screenshots showed Michael making plans to meet a married woman. In a different series of leaked messages, Michael called the woman his babe and told her about a car accident he'd been in in July 2024. Michael's shady behavior hasn't stopped since he left Angela. I fully know that Michael will never remain faithful to one woman. Once a cheater, always a cheater is not always true. But in Michael's case, it is. Angela Deem had a gut feeling Michael was cheating. Angela should have trusted her intuition. Angela had fallen for Michael the moment she saw him in her DMs. I suppose it was because Angela had never gotten attention from a younger man after her divorce, and it made her feel special. She had been dating before she met Michael, but seeing him made her want to get married again. Angela also saw that Michael had many other women on his Facebook friend list. They were probably the other women Michael had been talking to, but Angela looked like an easy target. In her first ever 90 Day Fiancé interview, Angela expressed her concerns about Michael. I recall her saying she was worried because Michael was from the scamming capital of the world. Angela did have an intuition that she was not doing the right thing by flying to Nigeria. However, she also felt it was God who had sent Michael into her life. Angela wanted to get immediately married to Michael. She even forgave him after he cheated on her by accepting oral sex from a local woman. Recently, Angela reposted a reel on her Instagram stories which showed her addressing the bad vibes she had gotten from Michael, but she chose to follow her heart instead of her head. If you get a gut feeling that something isn't right about someone or a situation, trust it. I recently came across an article on prevention that listed 19 warning signs one's partner is cheating on them, according to therapists. One of the signs read, you just have a gut feeling. Angela had seen many more summers than Michael for her to know that the man was taking advantage of her. Her intuition was warning her from pursuing the relationship, but Angela saw it as a chance for her to flaunt a young husband and also, I think, get on TV. The pros outweighed the cons at the time for Angela, who's now deeply regretting everything. Michael started complaining about Angela Deem. Michael the cheater accusing Angela of cheating. Another good point that the article makes is about how a cheating partner suddenly becomes unavailable. It gets harder and harder for their other half to reach out to them. I watched Michael doing this to Angela after they got married. Angela used to talk about how Michael wasn't even reaching out to ask how she was doing after undergoing life-threatening surgery. He also made an Instagram profile without telling Angela and demanded $5,000 to delete it. Angela and Michael's communication issues were so severe that she had to fly to Nigeria to meet him in person. When it was Michael who was cheating on Angela, he fakes frustration at Angela's close friendship with her doctor. Angela has a habit of flirting with men just to act friendly. It's how she makes the person in front of her feel comfortable because she doesn't realize how creepy it looks on camera. Accusing their partner of cheating is common among cheaters. He tried to take the focus off what he was up to in Nigeria, chatting with random American women and making plans to meet them. I've noticed Michael knows exactly when to act the victim. Michael's libido decreased. Michael discussed Angela's body parts without shame in previous seasons. When Angela recently appeared on the Drew Barrymore show, I cringed when I saw her revealing she had sex 37 times with Michael during the two weeks she was there in Nigeria the first time. However, once Michael came to the States, he lost interest in being intimate with his wife. Michael told the cameras before that he'd had sex with Angela to put her in a better mood to have tough conversations after their wild arguments. However, Michael didn't need to do it anymore. He was already talking to other women and was looking forward to sleeping with them.